Hi, I'm Brenda Henderson from Petals from the Basket. I know Joe enjoyed sharing some promises and truths and encouragement with you over the weekend. And I hope now on this Monday morning that your heart will be encouraged once again from God's word. Titus chapter one, verses one and two state, Paul, a bondservant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with godliness in hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. Wait a minute. Did you catch that? Which God, who cannot lie. Paul didn't say he will not lie. Paul didn't say he does not lie. To use either of those words would imply that he could, and he can't. He does not even have the ability to lie. It's not in his nature, his character, or his name. He is truth. What a great promise that is for us today. But what does that mean to you? Okay, God does not lie. What does that mean to you as you go into the workplace, as you start school, as you work around your home, as you interact with others? What does that mean to you today? The fact that God cannot lie means he will keep his promises and his word. So what promise are you going to claim today and know that God will keep? I will never leave you nor forsake you, he says. I know the plans I have for you, he says. I have loved you with an everlasting love, he says. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. What great promises we can claim knowing that they're true because he will not lie to us. Have a great Monday. We'll see you here tomorrow.